Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a look at uh, what we can do inside Amadeus Pro for some editing. Now I've got a track here, or in fact I've got two tracks on this sound. I want to have it start with a break in track one. Well, there's two ways of doing this. There's one where you can actually sort of take the whole of that second track, grab it, and move it along. Now that's really quite easy, that is, and uh, it actually snaps to this uh, marker that I've got in there as well. Now the only thing with that is that sometimes I've found that uh, when you have a gap here, it can mess things up if you're doing some editing later on. So what I actually suggest doing here is to actually put some put in there is in some some silence, silence not being the same as empty space. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this amount here from this side of uh, this thing here, and we're going to select it all just to um, see how big it is. Well, it's uh, one minute and fifteen seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that much silence at the beginning of the next track. Okay, so what we can do there is we go to the beginning of the next track. And all we need to do there to put it in is to go to the effects and generate silence. And we've got uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds, so that's going to be uh, 75 seconds approximately. And we can just click it in and away it goes. So um, now what I want to do is I want to just go to the, uh, bring that to back to the start again. And uh, when it's back to the start, you'll see that it should pretty much line up with this, uh, this area here. Okay, so it's uh, more or less right. We can take a little bit out there if we want to adjust that just a wee bit. So we don't have uh, one person talking over the top of another person. Okay, now something we might want to do is we want to, might want to do a bit of editing within this, uh, within this podcast. And it might well be that, for instance, we'd like to uh, take that bit out completely. We want to delete it. Now, if I delete that out there, I'll just press the backspace. You'll see that's what it's done. It's opened up a gap here, and it's made that gap bigger. Let me show you a bit more. Uh, so if I, choose, if I cho chose a bigger bit, for instance, if I take that out and open it up, it has made all of the timings and settings between the two tracks mess up and then the rest of it. So what I suggest you do is if you've got settings that are done down here and you want to to the right of where you want to edit and you've got things down here that you want to do some editing, uh, I want to show you a little trick so take things out and not mess up your settings. So let's just do a couple of man backspaces to bring, bring it back to the way it was. And uh, this time what we're going to do is we're going to take this bit out here and have it selected. Then I'm going to do a command uh, shift and A. Okay, so once you've got that selected, the next thing to do is to press the option and backspace key, and then that will take that out without you losing your settings. So you see you've still got the uh, same amount of gap between this part of speech here and this next bit of speech over here. That's how easy it is to do a little bit of editing within Amadeus Pro.